Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You. It is early in the morning. I just got done with a walk and I thought I want to make and have a hankering for some chocolate pumpkin muffins. These muffins are super easy. You just need a chocolate cake mix, three ingredients, pumpkin and three eggs. That's it. We are going to take these three ingredients. We're going to get them in our bowl, mix it up for a good minute or two minutes on the mixer put them in muffin tins and put them in the oven. We're just gonna follow the directions on how to make um, the cupcakes and it's gonna come out fantastic. Now, if you wanna add some extras, you can put some nuts in there. You could add a little vanilla. You could add any kind of extract you'd like that you think would go well with chocolate. And you know what I do? I not only have them at breakfast time, but I also love them at night. I take one out of the freezer and put some frozen cherries with it and then some frozen whipped cream. Oh man, is that a good dessert? So try them both ways. After you get your muffins in the pan, make sure to do a little swirl on top like I'm doing here. It helps them to look more uniform. These um, don't flatten out as well as a regular muffin or cupcake do, so you want to just add a little swirl. Look at these amazing muffins. They are beautiful. We're going to let them sit for 10 minutes, and then I can't wait to eat them nice and toasty warm. Okay. I got my cup of joe, because this is breakfast. Mm, you can smell the chocolate, but you can also smell the pumpkin. These are so good. Mm. Nice and light and airy. Excellent. Make sure when you're whipping them with your mixer, you really incorporate that egg for that emulsification to get that nice, light, fluffy texture. You can take one of these. Let me get one. You can take one of these um, at night or in the morning. You know, take off the top and then put some uh, frozen whipped cream in here and then put this back on top and make it a sandwich. Ooh la la. I can't do it right now because they're warm. But man, oh man, are they tasty. And I love it with the frozen uh, cherries, but you know, you don't have to put frozen cherries or raspberries or whatever, any kind of fruit would be good. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks For You. Thank you for being here uh, for my, have some coffee with me this morning. Um, haven't even showered yet. So please subscribe below, give me a thumbs up or a comment, and I would love for you to watch more videos.